Good evening, and welcome back, poetry lovers. It is I, ZM Wise, and here I am with another home recording, just for you. Tonight's piece was published in Ganasco Literary Journal, and it is one of my few legal pieces. And when I say legal pieces, I am actually referring to the law. I have always been fascinated by the law, how it varies from country to country, from state to state. I used to work in a law firm, actually, as a legal assistant, and I learned quite a lot during my stay. And I wrote this piece while attending a mock trial. And if you haven't attended a mock trial, please do so. You'll be doing yourself a favor. Believe you me, it's incredibly intense. And it also opened up my eyes to a whole new avenue of writing, research, and editing. It's absolutely incredible. I have written a few legal articles if you care to read them on my Tumblr, but we'll get to that later. Now then, I wanted to put together the most unique, diverse, peculiar jury ever selected. And unfortunately, I've never been selected to participate in a jury. I would love to someday, believe it or not, that is actually on my bucket list. <laughs> and I've been called to jury duty many times, I've received summons, but never have I ever been selected. But I will someday, I guarantee you that. <clears throat> So I'm going to dive right in. It's called Twelve. Elderly fisherman, swimming in the arroyo and warming his ideas in the shanty during the frost and ice season. Elevator doorman, driven insane by the mundane vertical up and down playlist. Twenty-two-year-old jester, chuckling at city misfits, socialite drama, urbanite capitalism. Cranes flying overhead, where order to the world serves as one concentric circle of laughs. Omega poet in the corner, observing the word as a face, the sound as a color, and the paper as shielding parchment. The other eleven might as well have their brains quarantined. Shamanic medicine woman, viewing every flash forward, as scenes inside a West Virginia mind. Her peyote ramblings exit her lips as villanelles, pantoons, and gazelles. Oh, will her unbiased mastery be inherent in her child's psychotropic genes? Previously used bookseller, tiptoeing on her expiration date, of all the documents that weave their way through her ruby curls, the photocopied report, crumpled by edgy fingers, gave her judgment free insight beyond clairvoyance. Middle-aged astrophysicist has lost her inner conscience. Freedom of choice lies beyond the outer reaches of this radar blip of a galaxy. Flight in the tabernacle arms! Paranoid, trigger-happy fighter, Suffering from delusions of preventive victories by an authoritarian nation with a stiff bottom lip. Egalitarian beliefs. Open mind with success of a chameleon. Old codger of the seas of anger, regurgitating him back to the sand limited time only. He is a modern-day Jonah being deprived of the guilty pleasures that rare breezes want to feel. Pluck yourself, because it feels amazing! Teenage-minded, animal rights activist. Hands-on experience, paws on protection, yet all reliability drips to the accomplices in the West. People, humanity, past existent hobbies. Fury fighting feminist heroine, well dressed for each court date, eyes on the common folk who can sniff out the lying water dogs in the quick of gun drawing suspenseful seconds. She who shoots last is a semi pacifist. Materialistic queen of the shops, all hail those who win the suit and spend half at the Vancouver Mall and half on a haul of alcohol. Money-grasping marsupials, feeding off of the concept of hovering over green paper air. Single mother in mid-twenties only wants the best 
for the son of the abandoning Cretan. Put the guilty in their place, put on the shackles, and imprison those who do not desire freedom. Twelve irate souls converse their combined ways of combat. Weed out the naysayers. Tis a guilty group of felons, nothing more than housebroken rats voluntarily soiling cages. If the facts would appear and present themselves, then every cold case would ice the nearest informer for squealing out of turn. Opening statements are first legal impressions. The gamblers take their chance. Jurors now swim in two entirely different seas, curse the storm of spontaneity and the mola mindset. Separation of church and state? Highly illogical when holy literature binds one's verbal contract to speak of the truth and its entirety. And as the rabbit runs, dogs are out for the hunt. Without a witness, this case shall take a nosedive into gentle obstruction. Release the river from which the dam held captive after fifty years of nature restriction. All it takes is eight for the final verdict, to tell the tale for a high and mighty six dollars a day. Civic duty put the righteous three weeks behind the rent. The decision has been reached. Hold the final number for ransom. Keep the two cents. March 31st, 2014. Thank you very much, poetry lovers. I hope you enjoyed that piece. And if you liked what you saw, please check out my YouTube channel. There are many, many other pieces. And there are also book reviews, interviews, live readings, song covers, original songs, jam sessions, and the ongoing series of Poets Addiction, as well as many other little surprises. If you'd like to check me out on Twitter, my social media, I am there to promote poetry, music, art, and any other form of creation. My handle is at ZMWisePoet. And check me out on Amazon as well. Buy my four books. And let's see. Ah, yes, if you'd like to view the aforementioned info on just a regular archive or a list, go to zmwisethepoet.tumblr.com. That's zmwisethepoet, all one word, dot tumblr, dot com. What else am I forgetting? Ah, yes. <laughs> Poetry lives! <laughs>